This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. We should also mention the uh, February 19th episode of raw. See Steve Austin's personality be referred to by Vince McMahon as stone cold. He drops the ringmaster gimmick a week later. Boy, Vince was pretty good at foreshadowing. Was he not? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying it's fun to see what a coincidence, how all these seeds are being sown, right? Later this year, the rock is going to debut at survivor series. Here, just before WrestleMania, the ringmaster has dropped. Now he's stone cold. The night after WrestleMania, ta-da, here's Mankind. There's a lot of moving parts here. It's an interesting yes, time for the and company. It was under the, the, the new and let's, let's change. And we're, you know, Razor and Diesel are moving on. Well, we got these guys right behind them. Mark Henry also debuts on a March edition of raw. This feels like a Vince hire. Like Vince would have been really, really high on, Hey man, this guy's going to be in the Olympics. We got a shot to have an Olympian on the roster. Uh, and, and, and look at that big bastard. You know, I could just see Vince saying that was Vince a big advocate for Mark or was that a Briscoe hire? No, Vince was a huge advocate for Mark because Terry Todd, who was Mark's manager and trainer from the university of Texas had done the article on Andre, the giant for sports illustrated years and years before. And Terry had always kept in contact with Vince and vice versa and says, Hey, I've got, you know, the world's strongest man. Mark Henry is, you know, they do a combined lift to determine who the strongest man in the world is. And Vince saw some video of him at a dunk contest where Mark Henry dunked a basketball and did all this shit and saw Mark as an athlete and potential to medal in the Olympics. So, We, uh, definitely were, we were looking at Mark for a long, long time. Let's talk uh, a little bit about, uh, the observer. They write the huckster, nacho man, billionaire, billionaire, Ted skip match will be on the pregame show, which pretty much removes the legal threats from the, from that skit by using the likeness of Hulk Hogan, Ted Turner, and Randy Savage all owned or controlled by WCW as part of an endeavor in which the public pays for it which the pay-per-view falls into, but a free show doesn't, they would open themselves up for potential legal action down the road. So the idea is there was a match originally promoted. That's going to have Nacho man and Huckster and billionaire Ted in a match on the pay-per-view. Now it's the pre-show. Did the possibility of litigation, since you guys were already thinking that way, cross your mind? No, really and truly, the whole thought process behind it was, goddamn, let's just get get over with this and move on. And no one was going to buy the pay per view for that. No, correct. And it was it was more along the lines of just let's get it over with, put it on the pre show, be done with it, and just be done. So by this point, you guys were just frustrated with the whole thing, but knew you had to have a payoff. So let's just get it yes. over with. Okay. Is that yeah. one of those deals in hindsight where it seemed like a good idea on paper, but then it was just a fart in church. Like nobody cares. Well, what are we doing? It's, it's, it's funny. Maybe one or two times, but then it just became okay. Yeah. Now we're over what? it. Yeah. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.